In this video, I'll be looking at 2.2, completing the square. 2.2 represents chapter 2, section 2 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Before I have a look at some examples on completing the square, it is very important that you check if the coefficient of x squared is 1. If it is 1, you proceed forward and you complete the square. If it is not 1, you need to first factorise and then you complete the square. Let's have a look at part A. We want to complete the square on this quadratic expression. The first step is to check the coefficient of x squared, which is the number in front of x squared. In this particular case, it is 1. So now you proceed forward and you complete the square. The next step is to put bracket squared minus bracket squared. You then stick in x, after which you look at the coefficient of x, which is minus 6, and you half it. Half of minus 6 is minus 3. So you put minus 3 here and you put minus 3 here. Now you just clean this up. You get x minus 3 in bracket squared minus minus 3 squared is 9. There you have it. So when we complete the square on x squared minus 6x, the answer is x minus 3 in bracket squared minus 9. Let's move on to part b. The first step is to check the coefficient of x squared, which is the number in front of x squared. In this particular case, it is 1. So you proceed forward and you complete the square. The next step, you put in bracket squared minus bracket squared then you stick in x you take the coefficient of x which is minus 14 you half it so you put the minus 7 here and you put the minus 7 here now you just clean this up giving you x minus 7 in bracket squared minus minus 7 squared is 49 so if you complete the square on x squared minus 14x you get x minus 7 in bracket squared minus 49 let's move on to part c the first step is to check the coefficient of x squared. In this particular case, the coefficient of x squared is 5, which is the number in front of x squared. So what do we have to do? We need to first factorise. So we take out the 5, in goes x squared plus 4x. Right, now if we look at the coefficient of x squared inside the bracket, it is 1, as you can see. So we can go ahead now and complete the square on the quadratic which is inside the bracket. So what do we do next? We put 5, this time we put square bracket, then we put bracket squared minus bracket squared. Close the square bracket. Right, so now we stick in x over here. We take the coefficient of x inside the bracket which is positive 4, we half it giving us positive 2. So we put the positive 2 here and we put the positive 2 over here, I can just write 2. Now I just clean this up, giving me 5, square bracket, curve bracket, x plus 2, squared, minus 2 squared, which is 4. Now we can expand this. So 5 multiplied by bracket x plus 2 squared, it's just 5 in front of the bracket x plus 2 squared. 5 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 20. And there you have it. If we complete the square on 5x squared plus 20x, it is just 5 in bracket x plus 2 squared minus 20. Moving on to part D, we want to complete the square on this quadratic. The first step is to check the coefficient of x squared, in this case it is 3, the number in front of x squared. So what do we need to do? We need to first factorise. We take out 3 in bracket x squared plus 2 over 3x minus 1 over 3. Now, we can look at the coefficient of x squared inside the bracket, it is 1. So we can proceed forward and complete the square on the quadratic inside the bracket. So I'm going to do that now. I have a 3, I put in square brackets, I put in curved bracket squared, minus curved bracket squared, minus the 1 over 3. Close the square bracket. Right, I stick in x in here. I then look at the coefficient of x inside the bracket, which is 2 over 3. I take half of 2 over 3, which is just 1 over 3. Positive 1 over 3. So you put positive 1 over 3 here, and you also put positive 1 over 3 here. You could just put in 1 over 3, no problem. Now, we need to simplify further. So we have 3 square bracket x plus 1 over 3 in bracket squared minus 1 over 9 minus 1 over 3. We can simplify further. Minus 1 over 9, minus 1 over 3 gives us minus 4 over 
9. Okay, what is the next step? Right, we can actually expand now. So 3 multiplied by bracket x plus 1 over 3 squared is just 3 in front of the bracket squared. 3 multiplied by negative 4 over 9 is just negative 4 over 3. And there you have it. If we complete the square on 3x squared plus 2x minus 1, this is the result that we get. Moving on to part E. We want to complete the square on this particular quadratic. Right, first of all, I'm going to rewrite this quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So I can actually rewrite this as minus 4x squared minus 16x plus 10. The first step is to check the coefficient of x squared. In this case, it is minus 4, the number in front of x squared. So what do we have to do? We need to first factorise. We take out the minus 4. Inside the bracket, we put x squared plus 4x minus 10 over 4. Now, if we have a look at the coefficient of x squared inside the bracket, it is 1. So we can proceed forward and complete the square on the quadratic inside the bracket. So I can write minus 4 square bracket bracket squared minus bracket squared minus 10 over 4. Close the square bracket. Inside the bracket over here, I stick in x. I then take the coefficient of x inside the bracket here, which is 4, and I half it, giving me positive 2. So I put positive 2 here, and I put positive 2 here. I just I can just write 2 there, no problem. Okay, now we need to clean this up. So we have minus 4 square bracket bracket x plus 2 squared minus 4 minus 10 over 4. Close the square bracket. Simplifying further. We get minus 13 over 2. Now I can actually expand. So minus 4 multiplied by bracket x plus 2 squared, it's just minus 4 in front of the bracket squared. Okay, minus 4 multiplied by minus 13 over 2 is positive 26. There you have it. So if we complete the square on 10 minus 16x minus 4x squared, we end up with this particular result. Here is an exam style you question. x squared minus 14x plus 1 is equivalent to writing x plus p in bracket squared plus q, where p and q are constants. Part A, find the value of p and q. Part B, hence, solve the equation x squared minus 14x plus 1 is equal to 0, giving you a solution in the form r plus or minus s square root 3, where r and s are constants to be found. Let's have a look at part A. To find the value of p and q, we need to rewrite this quadratic in this particular form. To get this quadratic in this form, we need to complete the square. So let's complete the square on this quadratic. I have the quadratic x squared minus 14x plus 1. My first step is to check the coefficient of x squared. In this case, it is 1, the number in front of x squared. So I can proceed forward and complete the square. I have bracket squared minus bracket squared plus the 1. Inside, I put in x. I then look at the coefficient of x, which is minus 14. I half minus 14, giving me minus 7. So I put minus 7 here, and I put minus 7 over here. Right, I can clean this up. I have x minus 7 in bracket squared minus, minus 7 squared is 49, plus 1. Right, this gives me x minus 7 in bracket squared minus 48. Now I can compare. So the p will just be minus 7 and the q will just be minus 48. Moving on to part b. Part b starts off with hence. This means that we need to refer back to our answer in part a in order to answer part b. Solve the equation x squared minus 14x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now solving the equation x squared minus 14x plus 1 is equal to 0 is the same as solving the equation x minus 7 in bracket squared minus 48 is equal to 0 from part A. Okay, so now I'm going to continue and solve this equation. I am going to make x the subject, so I can start off by taking minus 48 to the right hand side, giving me x minus 7 in bracket squared 
is equal to 48. Then I can take the plus or minus square root of 48. Which leaves me with x minus 7 on the left hand side. Right, now I can take minus 7 to the right hand side, giving me x is equal 7 plus or minus square root 48. This is not the final answer. Our answer needs to be of the form r plus or minus s square root 3, where r and s are constants to be found. Over here we've got a square root 48. So what we can do is actually use the multiplication rule for thirds to split the square root 48. First of all, we need to find two numbers that multiply together to give us 48, but one of them has to be a square number. For example, we can take 16 and 3. 16 multiplied by 3 is 48. Right, so I can proceed forward and write x is equal 7 plus or minus square root 16 multiplied by 3. Now we can use the multiplication rule for thirds to split this square root into two parts. So I can write x is equal 7 plus or minus square root 16 multiplied by square root 3. We're nearly there. Square root of 16 is just 4. So I've got 4 and then square root 3. Now this solution over here is of the form r plus or minus s square root 3. So now we can compare. The r is 7. The s is 4. To get the final mark, you need to state the constants r and s because it says clearly in the question where r and s are constants to be found. Ladies and gents, that completes the video. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.